Okay, in this video I'm going to uh, explain a few things about how I heat treat alibates and uh, I've also got some Tecovas Jasper in there in this uh, turkey roaster. Uh, sorry about the pronunciation there. Um, this particular turkey roaster goes up to 450 degrees and uh, I did a few modifications to it. I think I've shown it or this type of setup in a different video, but I'll just go over this again. Uh, the lid uh, does not have this aluminum foil, obviously. And what I've done is, uh, inside here, inside the lid, I've put some fiberglass bat insulation. And it's held in place by the aluminum foil, heavy duty aluminum foil. And uh, I cover it uh, during the heating process obviously but the fit is not completely uh, airtight or not as airtight as it was before so what I do is during the heating I cover the whole thing with some uh, muslin or canvas and what that does I just put it right over the oven what that does is it keeps out drafts and prevents uh, rapid heating I mean rapid cooling of the inside so I'll show you what I've got in here it's a, a mix of Tecovas, Jasper, and Alibates. Now I put everything that I had available in this batch all at once. Uh, there's no sand in here or anything. I just put it in here just like that. Um, I think there's about 30 pounds in there, maybe you know between 20 and 30 pounds. Now with, with this roaster, I can't remember if there was an internal liner or a pan in here or not. But uh, right now it does not have one. The rock is sitting right down inside the, uh, the roaster with no pan. This does not come out. So I just throw it all in there at once, or as much as I want. Sometimes just a single stone, and sometimes I fill it all the way up to the top with small pieces and flakes. Uh, some of this material. Uh, looked kind of rough and cracked to begin with I'll uh, I'll do a video on on some of this how it looks after I start working it as you can see there's already some seams in some of this but it didn't explode or anything this is the this is the Jasper the tech of us Jasper and I did I did already uh, remove some flakes off a piece and it looks very nice it, it responded very well. Now, the uh, the normal temperature that I heat treat everything to, just as a general rule, is uh, 400 degrees for four hours. And uh, I like to dry the stone before I turn it up to 400. So I'll just put everything in there that I want to heat. Uh, turn the heat on to 200 degrees leave it in there for 24 hours at 200 degrees to dry it out if it's been very wet or if the stone has been sitting in soil or in a river uh, 48 hours is best once that's over with I go ahead and I crank it all the way up at one time to 450 now with this batch I let it sit for six hours because it's been kind of cold out and I just wanted to make sure uh, that the temperature stayed at at least 450 for 400 for um, for four hours. I just let it sit a little bit extra. It really doesn't help, uh, hurt the stone. Sometimes it'll change the color the longer you leave it in, but I don't think uh, it doesn't apply very very well to uh, Tecovas Jasper or Alibates. The color doesn't change very much. Now, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference, but in some of the pieces. There's an obvious difference. This is uh, Alibates here. And you can see that it's got very distinctive banding in it. And there's some white in here too. This has got some bands also, but the colors seem to be more, um, I don't know, more diffuse or not as, not doesn't, you don't have the distinct color variation. It kind of blends together. Anyway, it is sometimes hard to tell the difference between these two. 
they all they often have the same colors. This is jasper, but it, right in here there is some white and there's some banding in here. So it resembles the elevates. Now elevates is more difficult to obtain than the Tekovas jasper. Uh, because you cannot re remove this material from the National Park or the National Monument uh, which was an ancient Native American quarry for this material so you have to obtain it from private property somewhere around the park uh, so I only have small pieces of this and it's hard to obtain now uh, a friend of mine asked me to do a video on this because he uh, is getting into flint napping and he has some of this material and was wondering how I he treat it and how I work it. So the way I do it is uh, Elevates likes a little bit hotter temperatures. I've, I've known guys that have heated this up to about 550 degrees but since my oven only goes to 450 degrees that's what I use and it works fairly well. Uh, I, I think it might be glossier at higher temperatures but uh, for my purposes 450 degrees is fine and I leave it in for six hours, four to six hours depending on how cold it is outside or how much rock I have in there. The more rock and the colder it is outside obviously it takes longer to warm up to that temperature so I leave it in a little longer. Uh, some of the uh, material will break up. Now this I believe this piece here again it's hard to tell but I think this is elevates and uh, it did explode This piece did also. Now this, these were in the corner, right there in the corner, these two pieces. So the corners are usually hotter than the middle, so that might have been it, but I doubt it. I think what happened was there's already internal stresses in these rocks and the heat just caused it to get worse. Um, yeah, I can't really tell if this is the Jasper or the Alibates, but it looks like Alibates. Now not all of it does this, of course. Uh, some pieces right next to it. These pieces were right next to each other inside the cooker, inside the turkey roaster. And the pieces on the right here are fine and they, this exploded. So uh, it ha has to do a lot with the quality of the stone itself. If it's already got internal seams, it looks like this might have had internal issues already. Although this, this side looks pretty good, there is a seam there. Uh, if it hasn't already has internal issues, it may not work well. And I, will, I won't even try to nap that. I might be able to get a few points out of this, very small ones. But uh, this might all be wasted here. But these are still good. There's quite a few chunks in here. Most of it is the Tekovas Jasper because that's mostly what I have on hand. And I heat treated all kinds of different size material from smaller flakes like this to larger flakes to, uh, to chunks. This is the Jasper. I don't think I have very many chunks of elevate. I think this is a elevates. Pretty good sized chunk, nothing happened to it. Anyway, just wanted to go over that. And I will do some napping on some of this material in the next video. But again, I just wanted to show this. Um, it's a pretty easy setup. Just a regular turkey roaster. If it has a pan that's removable inside, go ahead and take that out so your rock will sit inside the, uh, the heating element. Uh, that way the heat will get to the rock faster. And again, insulate the lid and then cover the whole thing over with something to prevent drafts. I usually keep this outside in my shop and not inside the house. Uh, sometimes some rock will actually outgas when you heat it, so you don't want any of those gases in your house. Uh, I think Elevates and this Jasper is pretty safe, but there are some other stones that uh, smell pretty funny. I don't know which, 
what's in them, but uh, I always do this outside, and there's usually drafts outside, so I cover it. Um, I think that's it. It's a typical roaster, and nothing fancy. Okay, that's it.